Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create multiple colorways. So last week you created your print and it came in your first colorway. Here I have kind of a cool um, bluish purple colorway. Um, so now you need to come up with two other colorways. It's pretty common for designers to design a warm colorway, a cool one, and then a neutral one. So neutrals might be grays and blacks in this case. Um, <clears throat> but really, you can do any combination you want. Um, so to do it, you're going to want to pull out your swatch that you created. Oh, mine's really big. Do you guys remember how to zoom out? I'm going to hit Command Negative. Negative, negative, negative. Ta-da! Great. There is my print. Then I'm going to use the magic wand, Y, to start selecting my colors. Now it would help if I knew um, how I wanted to change my colors. Um, so I recommend going and getting some inspiration. You can find a photograph that inspires you or maybe other prints that inspire you, some kind of color story, and copy and paste it and put it on your artboard for a little help. So I'm going to go to the internet and I have WGSN up and you know this tropical warm print inspires me. So I'm going to screenshot it. Do you remember how to screenshot an image on a Mac? You hit Command, Control, Shift, 4. I'm doing that so it will um, save to my clipboard so I can paste it directly into Illustrator instead of it saving on my desktop. Command V for pasting. There we go. <clears throat> I'll just set this aside. If you have a PC, you can use the snippet tool. Okay, so back to my magic wand. So maybe all these purples, I'll just select it and it's selecting everything with the purple fill. I see it worked. If you have a question mark here, that means that your magic wand is selecting more than one color. You might want to double click your magic wand tool and change the tolerance to zero so you don't have to deal with that. It defaults to 32. Okay, cool. And then now I hit the I, letter I for my eyedropper and maybe I want to do orange. And if I like it, leave it. But if I don't, I can double click this swatch and kind of clean up my orange and just really decide, eh, I kind of like it a little more dusty. Just say okay. Great. So now Y, and I'm going to click this teal. And I think I'm going to change that to the yellow. Okay. Magic wand is the letter Y. Pick this kind of bright blue. I'm going to do that, I think, maybe a darker orange would be good for that. Or maybe, I don't know, let's try. No, maybe red. Okay, red's good. Uh, magic wand. Let's get this dark blue. This I'm going to do the green. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks pretty good. And then this pink I got to get rid of. Look, what can I do with this pink? Um, da, 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 da. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I don't even use the color here. Well, maybe this light color. Oh, that's kind of nice. I was also thinking maybe a gray would be good. I don't know, but here's my warm colorway, and you can play around with it. This is where some designers can spend hours trying to come up with the right color combination. Um, I'm going to click, drag, and drop it back in, and I'm going to so then you'll do this again now for your third one. So maybe I'll do a gray one this time. So maybe all these red pieces are going to be black. Okay, why? Now this will be a gray. Maybe this will be like a really light gray. Pick the same gray and then double click it and make it lighter. Okay. Um, Okay, what else should I do with this yellow? Maybe, you know what? Maybe I just make it pink or something? I don't know. Hmm. No. Maybe I make it black as well. Okay, cool. Um, and then let's get rid of this blue and just make this a super light gray as well. Maybe I'll just copy the other gray I have. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I hit the letter V for the black arrow, click, drag, drop, should be in my swatches, and I'll hit delete. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to hit the letter Z to zoom in. Okay. I'm going to select my CAD. I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to click and drag, and then I'll click and drag again. <clears throat> um, okay. I'm going to lock my first one, Command-2 or Object Lock. Hit my magic wand. 
and I'm going to change my print color. Okay, I'll lock that guy, hit my magic wand, and change that print color too. Great, there are my three colorways. Now what you also will want to do is like you want to put this in your portfolio. This is a very impressive assignment. So you want to create a nice header um, and put your name on it, maybe the name of the project. But go ahead and organize it a little bit. Um, I recommend doing legal, or not legal, uh, tabloid size paper or letter paper. So you can go to File, Document Setup, and you can edit your artboard. Oops, you know what? I'm in millimeters. I'm going to go back to File, Document Setup. I'm going to change it to inches. Now I'll say Edit Artboards. I'm going to change it so it's 17 inches by 11. That's tabloid. Ooh, those are little. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> select my CADs. I'll say Object Unlock All. There we go. Click, drag, hold, shift. Always hold shift. Keep it all proportional. Great. I'll put my warm color away, then my cool, and then my black one. And then I want to align them nicely, so I'll select all three. They've been grouped, so that it's really, I'm only selecting three objects at this point since each hat is grouped and I can use my align tool to space them evenly and make sure that they're all aligned just right. And then underneath it, I should give them a name. Um, maybe I will call this orange. And maybe I will call this guy purple. And this guy can be uh, gray. Um, and then yeah, make a header. If you um, have one already from earlier this semester, just go find it, copy and paste it. Um, some sort of decent looking header. You can call this anything. Um, print colorway creation project. I recommend thinking about your fonts too to make it a little bit nicer. them on the page so that it looks like it all fits nicely. Great. I'm going to align them again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool. Something like that. Um, and that's the end of this video.